Hey Measuring Hero, Jay here. As you're aware, I'm a tactile guy at heart, but I'm trying to dip my toe into the world of CT. So we came all the way back to Oberkalken so I can get some help. And Valentina has uh, graciously offered to help us. Valentina, thank you for showing me a little bit about the world of Zeiss Inspect for X-Ray. You are very welcome, Jay. Great, how should we start? Well, uh, I'd say let's head over to the training room and I'll show you all the features there. Great, let's do it. All right, Valentina, <laughs> before we really jump in, the first question I have for you as a newbie, uh, where do I go if I need help? Yeah, so for this, I would direct you to the Zeiss Quality Suite. Okay. So what we're seeing here is the Zeiss Quality Suite, and as you see, we have quite a few different resources that mm -hmm. you can access directly from the suite. So we have all our software applications okay. um, that you also see listed here. Then you can also access support, so from within the support um, tab here, you can uh, get the content information from our Zeiss support team. Mm -hmm. um, training, which is for sure very important. So we have a very powerful training platform and within the Zeiss Quality Suite, okay. you can access all our training content and wow. e-learning. So after you took the class, you wanna go back to any of that material? Yep, right you can here. access all the training material directly yes. from one unique place, really which is convenient. our Zeiss Suite. Uh, we have the forum okay. where you can exchange uh, content with uh, other users. Software store mm -hmm. where you can download other add-ons okay. for the software. Okay. And then we have the tech guide, which is, I think, one of the most powerful um, documentation right, platforms. Right. I've heard that the documentation, the help files mm -hmm. are really, really great. Yeah. Yes, so I would say let's take a look okay. at the tech guide first. Okay. Uh, so as you see, I'm logged in, in here. Okay. And from the tag guide, you can just simply type in, in the search bar, uh, any keywords of any topics that oh, wow. you want to look into. Okay. And this is very, very easy. So once we type in our okay. keywords, uh, the tag guide will provide us either with function descriptions from the software or uh, articles or, wow. yeah. Yeah. Right here, so as a newbie, if I already know that, uh, you know, yeah. uh, I can just type it in and go. You can just simply type it in. Okay. so. But my question for you is, it, let's say I'm already in the software working and I want to search for some mm -hmm. help. Do I have to come all the way out of the software and then? No, not at all. Okay. So depending on your skill level, okay. uh, you can access a variety of resources for, for support and to get some more information on the software functions and more content. So let's get into the Zeiss Inspect for X-Ray okay. software. Okay. So as you see here, we have like a 3D view yeah. of our part. And um, if, for example, you wanted to create something very simple right now, mm -hmm. um, for example, we can uh, construct like a, a 2D, uh, a two point line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you wanted to get some more information okay. uh, directly uh, with regards to what are the elements here yep. in the software uh, menu, you can just simply click on the question mark here and you will be directed oh. to the Zeiss Quality Suite where you'll get all the information uh, directly in here. And there is something very, very useful. So we're scrolling a little bit down here yeah. and you see that we have the description okay. of all okay. the entries that you saw right. in the menu before. So definitely you do not have to get out of the software. And I also wanted to show you another thing. So from within the software, once again, mm -hmm. You can access, as I said, multiple uh, information in different ways. You can still type in your content, as we did before, okay. directly in the tag guide. You can also type it in here. But right within right the software. Right in here, within the software, so that you don't have to switch between the software and the tag guide. Got it. And you will be directed to the Got tag it. guide from here. That sounds super good. But it's not quite the end, okay. because <laughs> there is something more. more. Okay, great, great. So we can go on the help, oh my gosh, and then more. if okay. you click on the question mark here, we can click on any sections or parts of the software and you will also see Whoa. that uh, we're directed to the tech guide once again. So with a question mark, I clicked on the explorer okay. um, that you saw on the left hand side and here you see a full description of what the Explorer is. Oh, that's fantastic for a guy like me that will definitely yes, have lots so, of questions. So not only is there a community, uh, a community, there's training support, but all over the software, yes. I can just 
click mm -hmm. in, multiple yep. ways to get help. And therefore, depending on you know your skill level, mm -hmm. etc., you can access the information differently. For example, yeah. if I wanted to do, let's say, some defect analysis, okay. but I'm not really quite sure on what to do first, I can just simply go in the tech guide and type in some keywords here. Yep. If instead, I am familiar with the software, I'm already, let's yep. say, towards the advanced user, but I'm just trying to use a function that I've never used before, mm -hmm. I can just simply go in the menu yep. uh, of the function that I'm looking for yep. and click on the question mark question here. Mark. So just definitely, as I said, a lot of information available in different ways. A lot of resources available. Yes. That's fantastic, Mel. Thank you for those those hints because uh, as I dive into it, sometimes you just don't want to break your train of thought. And you just want to get information mm -hmm. as you're into it. It's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. And countries. you just uh, need to be aware of the different yep. ways you can access it. So I have a question while we're at yes, the screen here. Definitely. So I've been working with a colleague and uh, it's a great view here, mm -hmm. but we were uh, uh, specifically wanted to see multiple views here. Okay. And it seemed like we were constrained, but is there an easier way to look at multiple views? Absolutely, yes. There is, great. So let me show that to you. Okay. So let me close this menu up here. So okay. as you see here, we have a simple 3D view, mm -hmm. but we can access the multi-view from here. Right now I'm gonna access our orthogonal view. Oh. And as you see here, that's exactly what you were asking exactly. for. Exactly. So we have our 3D view here, mm -hmm. as before. But on top of it, we also have different um, views. Mm -hmm. So basically we have three different views here okay. where we can scroll through the volume and look into the volume slices yep. in these perpendicular views. So we have the X, Y, Z plane over here, Z, Y plane over here, okay. and X, Z over there. But it's not it. We can also customize that through really? our okay. layout editor. Whatever so. we need to see simultaneous for whatever mm -hmm. analysis we're yes. doing. Um, and actually, maybe I can show you something more. Okay, yeah. So on top of all of this, as you can see here, maybe we want to scroll through the slices, Okay. but we really maybe would like to orient the object in a slightly different way. Okay. You know, just okay. something really simple for right. something, you know, to be done pretty quickly. So what I wanted to show you is this uh, function here, mm -hmm. and you might be Pretty new to this, so let's let's take a look. So I'm gonna go into our manual alignment mode. Okay. And as you can see, by really simply clicking on these arrows, I can orient the part oh, wow. in the way I want. Okay. And actually, uh, one last thing. So for me, you know, yeah. I really love CT, I really love the software, so <laughs> I, know. I know a lot of the different yeah. functions. But if we go back in here, mm -hmm. uh, in the case you wanna Take a look again okay. at this function. You can click on this, and there and we, we go back help. to the tech guide. So Fantastic. here you go with all the information, and it's simply stored in here. Everything and I need yep, to yep. maximize there you go. my experience. Here, yes. But what I love about the multi not only do we have multiple views available to us, but we can modify them very easily to yeah. get the slices yes. that we want. Absolutely. And then if I forgot how to do it, I can always If you forget, <laughs> you can always go back and take a look and how to do it again or even learn more. The tech guide is extremely powerful. Oh, so there is fantastic. plenty of information yeah. to learn. And you know, it's not only um, description of the specific menus, mm -hmm. but there are a lot of articles on like some more yep. introductory content if you were interested in that cool. or yeah. So Valentina, I'm obviously a newbie and my questions here were very basic, but mm -hmm. as I progress, is it okay if I come back and absolutely maybe ask you JM. More as always I here, really allowed understand? to talk about these things. So oh, you're perfect. very welcome. Thank you for your time, Valentina, and I look forward to doing this again and diving a little mm -hmm. deeper into yep. the world of CT and uh, Zeiss Quality Suite for X-Ray. Yes, I'll wait for you, Jay. It's a <laughs> wonderful word. So that's, thank you, Valentina. Yeah, thank you. And for you out there, hope you enjoyed me dipping our toe into the world of CT. Don't forget to stay safe and stay healthy. We'll see you next time.